everyone, it's Teresa here with your weekly angelic oracle reading and your angelic guidance for March 31st to April 6th, 2014. So as we head into April, um, such a beautiful month, um, often it's very inspiring um, this month with all the change in the weather and, um, and just a lot of new things coming into place um, in April. So the angels are showing me that there are so many people right now moving back and forth um, between moving into what they um, really want to do and following their dreams and their passions and moving um, back into what they should be doing. Um, so it seems to be a little bit of a struggle right now for a lot of people. Um, the other thing they're showing me is um, people are really looking for more... Um, a more fulfilling life. Um, even the people that have wonderful lives, everything is perfect and going very well, they're looking for um, something else. They're looking for a deeper connection um, to the divine, to the angels, um, and connecting with their inner soul. So those are the two things that seem to be going on right now. And both actually... Um, in the bigger picture are almost the same thing where we're just trying to connect with what really um, with what really connects to our soul and what really brings us fulfillment in our lives. So um, they're also showing me a beautiful picture um, with this and they want to remind you that it's not all or nothing. You don't have to say, um, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do this and not gonna do that anymore. Again, it's just baby steps because that's what it's all about. We just wanna grow and when we grow slowly and in baby steps, actually it doesn't mean we're growing slowly, it just means that we're taking baby steps towards what we want to accomplish in our lives. It makes it much easier for us um, to, to transform and to transition. So just remember that um, you can take baby steps um, with your transitioning. And the other thing, and the beautiful picture that they are showing me is if you can imagine or if you can image in your mind, you standing in the center and angels creating a beautiful circle around you. Um, they're giving you support, they're giving you guidance, and they're just connecting with your heart. And um, again, they're just like, like um, a cushion of support for you right now. They're totally surrounding you. And the most beautiful thing is as something arises in your life, whether it's healing, protection, organization, whatever it may be, the certain angel, um, archangel that um, embraces that type of energy is stepping forward to even support you more. So for example, all the angels and the archangels are in this beautiful circle surrounding you and supporting you. And possibly there's a day that you need a little bit of extra healing. So Archangel Raphael is going to move forward and really connect and really give you some of that extra support that you need during that time. So just image that during the week and right away you'll start to feel such a sense of comfort um, just with that image alone because you'll feel the presence and you'll feel the support from the angels and you can trust that the right angel um, will um, help you through in that moment. So so being with that, I am going to um, go ahead again with the Archangel Raphael cards by Doreen Virtue. There's a lot of healing going on and there's still so many messages from Raphael. So I am going to go ahead and choose three cards um, whoop, for this week. And that was a jumper. So I'll definitely do that one. And then two more. I'm gonna actually go with these two. And okay, so 
A lot of wonderful messages here. The first one is forgiveness heals. That is such an important message. When we can learn to forgive, whether it's ourselves, whether it's somebody else, we're making room to open up and allow um, more things, more beautiful things come into our lives. So forgiveness heals. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want, peace and health. And that speaks for itself. Once we can forgive, we can really start to feel that peace. And once we feel peace, um, we can start um, bringing optimal health into our lives again. Now, this one came up when I um, take the cards out. I look at, I always look at the bottom card um, just as a little bonus for me. And this one was actually on the bottom of the deck before I even um, pulled cards. Um, so this was my bonus for me, but it's clearly a strong message too. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Once again, your intuition is your guide. Your intuition is so strong. Um, once we tap into it, um, then you can just keep building on your intuition and you'll begin to trust it more often. And, um, and then making choices becomes a lot easier because now you're feeling um, your decisions rather than thinking of your decisions and you're intuitively recognizing what feels right and what um, isn't so right. The next one is organic foods. It is so important to fuel our bodies with, um, with goodness. And even foods can change our vibration, can change our energies. Um, everything changes it. So this week, if you can, you know, just really watch the foods that you're putting into your body and, um, and try to eat more healthfully, and notice and see if, how you're feeling and if that changes your vibration, if that changes um, how you feel during the week. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting my desire to consume and use organic products. And that may even be skincare, that's anything. So if we can one by one just start changing and shifting what we what we bring into our bodies and what we use on our bodies, um, we're starting to move into um, a lighter place. So for this week, forgiveness heals. That is so important. Forgiveness will help you feel peace. Listen to your intuitive feelings. You are an intuitive person. You have the gift to do it, and I and the angels know that, and um, the angels are guiding you to use your intuition. Start building upon it, and you will see a lot of things shift. Organic food. Again, just be aware of what you're putting into your body and on your body, and um, and start recognizing how you feel um, eating more healthy foods and and whatnot. Um, so, this week, forgiveness heals. Listen to your intuitive feelings and organic foods. So, those are your messages for this week. I hope you have a wonderful week. If you wish, wish to check us out on our Facebook uh, fan page, then the link is below. And we will see you next week. May the angels surround you today and always.